Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Apple One to One. This is Will, and it's tax season, everyone. So I figure we do a quick video on how to organize taxes because I know this is the fun part of the year where you have all your documents ready to go for taxes. And I thought on a Mac, why not just show you a little bit about the organization that I do that I, and how I share my taxes to everyone. So. I use a tax uh, person to do everything. I do not use the online portal, so this will not be related to online portals, but it's still good to know the organization of your taxes. So number one is I leave everything in iCloud Drive. That's number one. Uh, and I create a folder in documents called Taxes 2023. Right now I have four documents in here. And it's very important, I think, also to rename your stuff. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So right now I have four items in these taxes, which by the way, all have are all already added to the cloud. I have an example here in my downloads, which is a W-2 form. Now we all get those. So I'm gonna move my W-2 form in here, and obviously it's a fake form, it's not real. I just don't wanna show you my real form, obviously. But the idea is that the naming convention of when it downloads is not always gonna be right. Uh, another thing too is that probably every document should be a PDF as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up, and PNG, for example, opens up in preview. So I'm going to, First off, rename it. So I'm gonna uh, instead of, and rename it, and I'm also gonna export it at the same time. So let's say something comes in as a JPEG for some reason. I know that doesn't happen very much, or if you do a screenshot, it's probably best to make a PDF out of it. So I opened up in preview, and I'm gonna go to File, Export as PDF, and I'm gonna call it Will W2. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Documents folder. I'm gonna go to Taxes 2023. And then it's going to save it here and I'm going to hit save. And now there we go. You can see on the screen it changed. And now here's my W2 as a PDF. And it's actually rotated. So we're going to open this up. Now that doesn't really matter. Sometimes you can just, you know, send it that way. Not a big deal. But there's a rotate button built into preview. And there we go. And then I'm just going to save it. You can see a cool little cloud icon showed up and then it went away because it's uploading it. I'm also going to get rid of the PNG because I don't need that version. So I'm gonna right click, I could do remove download or my favorite command delete. And then it's asked me, do you wanna delete the document? Yes, I do. And there it goes, it's gone. Now another document I have, I'm gonna open up is a claims one. In here is a CSV file. A lot of times you're asked about how to send your, your medical information. So this is a CSV file that was delivered to me. And what I want to do is I want to create a field or a row, uh, something right here that will allow me to put the total of the cost. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom here. I'm going to add a row. And actually what I want to do is add a footer row below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything here, shift, click up here. And then if you look at the bottom, it says sum. And that's the total that I need because I got to put that on my form. So I'm going to just drag that right here and then boom, there you go. It adds a total up. Now again, same deal. I don't want it to be a CSV file. I want to make a PDF out of it. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to export to PDF. Uh, and then it's giving me a bunch of spreadsheet options. I'm just going to keep the default. And then we're going to hit save. And I'm going to call it Medical Claims 2023. And because I recently worked in the documents area, there is a way where it says recent places. So I can actually just click that and it knew that. I'm going to hit export. And there we go. And now if we go behind here, you will see that my PDF is created here. If I do it by, by, by modified, here's everything I needed. And same deal, I don't need the claims. I'm just gonna delete that. Same deal, I'll get the same response. One feature where you can import images directly from your iPad. If you right click on the desktop, you will see an option called import from iPhone or iPad. And then it knows my f both my devices are connected to the same network. So I'm gonna scan documents because what if you don't get a digital copy of your W2 or anything else? So I'm gonna hit scan documents and then it's gonna use my phone. And as you can see, I'm looking around and it took a shot right then and there. And then on my phone, I hit save. And then if we look on my desktop, there it is. And here is the scan document. And then of course I'm gonna rename this document. We'll call it W2 scan from phone. And then we'll open up our finder. We'll go to documents, taxes, and then drag it right in there. 
Very cool. So you see, you can scan directly from your iPhone. Now let's say we have all of our documents and you're gonna send it to your tax person. A lot of times, an iCloud link may not be the way to do it. Sometimes it might be a little difficult for them to download it. I've had that happen with my own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip them together because a lot of times a zip is the easiest way because your, your file size can be pretty big. And one thing you wanna maintain here is you wanna make sure your file size is good. And if I go back one step to documents, I go to taxes and I hit command I. Command I is going to tell me information about the folder. And right now this is a 992 kilobyte size. Now I want to send this entire folder, but I got to make sure, of course, emailing when I'm emailing to my, my tax person, it's got to be under a certain size. So sometimes it might be too big. So one thing you want to make sure you're doing is you may have to zip it. So zipping is, is or compressing, that's what it's really called. So in Apple, we call it compress. So compress is going to take all the files and compress it into one file that they can open up. So I'm gonna hit compress. It's now creating an archive and here's the archive now is one file. Now, if you remember, the size of this file was a little bit bigger. It was 900 something 99. The compressed file is 785, so it has decreased it a little bit. So you may need to zip in order to send a lot of these files. But again, if you're over about 15 megabytes, you may have a hard time emailing it to your person. So now the next thing is you wanna mail it to that person. So what I'm gonna do is I have the zip file, I'm gonna to go to the share icon and then mail, and it opens up this message right here. And then I'm going to send this to my tax person. So you, all you have to do now is type in the person, the subject, and then you can send it that way, uh, and there it goes. The other way you could do this is if you're already in mail first, we can do that as well. So I'm going to go to attach, go to documents, taxes, archive, choose file. You can see this method's a little bit longer, which is why I recommend doing it from there. So, and this is how you send out the mailing to your tax person. So I think it's important to organize your taxes all in one area. First off, put it somewhere in the cloud. That's very important, I think, to keep a copy of it everywhere. Uh, make sure you keep physical copies of it, obviously, of your W-2s. And then also, if they can support iCloud, then great. Then all you got to do is go here hit the share button, and then what you do is you send a copy, and it'll send a copy to mail, and then you could also send it that way. So instead of send a copy, I can do collaborate, and then who can access this? Well, I can do anyone with a link, and they can make changes or they can view only. I'll do make changes. I'm gonna hit copy link, and then what I'm gonna do is, let's open up mail, new mail message, and then I'm gonna do edit, paste, and there you go. And now it's setting it as a cloud-based link to download the files. And that's the couple ways that you could organize your taxes. I mean, this is really simple organizing stuff, but I think it's important to know that for taxes, I think you need to organize everything. Make sure you download everything from every source that you have. It's very important that you do that. Take care of your taxes by organizing them in this way. Share, you know, use the share feature built into iCloud. Use the archive compressing, which I think is going to be very important. And definitely rename your files. I think it'll make it much easier to do that if you rename your files and and make sure that's taken care of too. So for the last example I'll do right here, this is a statement. You don't know what this is. How are you going to know what it is? So I found out opening this uh, while I cut the video. This actually is my son's 1099. So I'm gonna say Lucas 1099 interest. The idea is that you're making this easy for the tax person. That's really the idea. So make sure you name everything to keep it very organized. So I hope this was helpful for tax season on your Mac. So just go through a lot of these things and just see if any of these skills might have helped you out. I appreciate you guys and please like and subscribe our content. We really do appreciate it. And please ask any questions. We're more than willing to help you out. Thank you very much, everyone. And I love every single one of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.